on this special episode of It's Me or the Dog. Victoria visits two single dog owners, Hello. Bachelor Mike and Bachelorette Stacy, who've got one shared problem. Their dogs are ruining their love lives. Mike's dog, Trip A, attacks other hey, people's hey, dogs. Hey, hey, he is never gonna get a girl like that. It's leave tough it, enough it. to meet a really wonderful woman. This is one more thing that makes it more problematic. And Stacy's Tibetan terrier, Pampy, scares away dates. It's like, it's like living with Jaws. And cannot be left alone. Can Victoria come to the rescue? I want to get you back out dating again without Pampy. Train both dogs? So if he pulls me, I go in the other direction, Trip A and secretly bring these two lonely hearts together? I have another little surprise up my sleeve. Today, Victoria's returning to bring single dog owners Mike and Stacy together. Today, Mike and Stacy are going to meet each other and help each other with the training. And what they don't know is that if things go well, I have another little surprise up my sleeve. She's invited Mike to Stacy's house to introduce him to both Stacy and Pampy and to help out with the training. Just arrived at the mystery woman's house, and the mystery dog, of course, can't forget about him or her. And I'm pretty curious. I'm really excited to meet the mystery man and just to um, find out what he's been dealing with. And it'll be nice to hear about somebody else's drama and stress instead of my own. Hi, Mike. OK, well, what you're going to do is grab the pouch of treats. And then as I buzz you in, you're going to um, kind of say hi to Pampy and just stay relaxed. <laughs> and <laughs> no, no, no sudden movements or the attack, huh? No, no, no. And you're going to drop a treat um, as you see her. You can give her a little treat. <laughs> and then um, we'll go from there. OK. All right. <laughs> OK. Mike goes to work on winning over Pampy, which goes a long way with Stacy. Hi. 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 You. You can you can shake hands. I mean, she's not oh, gonna. Oh get... yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike is charming, and it really came across to me right away when he came up my driveway with stuffed animals. It's just very thoughtful and very considerate. I think she's smelling Trippe and Lucy. Yeah. Let her do that. Yeah. Just let her do that. She is very interested. What's that? You're awfully cute. Pampy's clearly taken by Mike oh, no. and his gifts. Oh, oh this is great. Such a... That was easy. Is okay. that the normal effect you have on women then? Give them a gift and never see them again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What a gentleman. Yes. Thank you. And after just a few minutes, he safely makes it inside. My story is that Pampy has separation anxiety. Trippe um, tends to be dog aggressive. Okay. Not with every dog. Certainly. But with a lot of them. It's not long before Mike's got Pampy eating out of his hand. But what does he think of her owner? Stacy seems like a very nice woman. It's interesting to have, to meet someone who can relate to my issues, because I haven't really met anybody who's been affected because of their dog uh, in the dating world. Now that Mike has passed the Pampy test, it's Stacy's turn to help train with Trippe. Good boy. Victoria brings the couple to a local park to introduce the dogs on neutral territory. I brought Stacy and Pampa here to train with Mike and Trippe because, again, it's another new dog for Trippe to meet, and it's another dog and owner that Mike can practice with. You take it from here and, and tell her what you need her to do, OK? Right, why don't you walk this way? I'll decide how close I get to you or not. OK. OK, good boy. He's doing avoidance. Trippé may be practicing some avoidance, but I'm much more social than Trippé, I think. And uh, Stacy seems like a really intelligent, interesting woman, so I won't be practicing avoidance. Um, you keep him on your left, I'll be on your right. It's not long before Trippé becomes more sociable. I thought the training with Trippé and Michael went really well. I thought Pampy and I were exceptionally helpful and an asset to the situation. Does anybody have a bag? I do. Oh, thanks. I love oh when romance blossoms over a poop bag. Hello. Yeah. With parallel walking posing no problems, the dogs are able to become more intimately acquainted. Do a butt sniff. There you go. There you go. That's fine. They just said hello to each other. Yeah. Trippé did very well meeting Pampy for the first time. He practiced avoidance first, and then he went in and had a good old sniff. Perfect. Now that the dogs seem pretty happy with each other, let's just take a stroll in the park. Re 
romantic. Goodness. I've set up some champagne and um, some blankets for the dogs and a few hors d'oeuvres. I was so surprised when we came upon a table for two in the middle of the park with champagne and chocolate strawberries. Champagne? <laughs> it was great. Oh, Woo! gold! Good stuff! Cheers! Good, Yay. Good dogs. Great dogs. Looks like Stacey and Mike are getting on really well, and so are Trippé and Pampy. They're very relaxed, so who knows this might lead somewhere. It was great just sitting there, not having the stress, and just relax and just be peaceful with Trippé and another dog close by. Mike, I'm going to give this envelope to you because there's one thing that we still haven't dealt with, and that's Pampy's separation anxiety. I gave Mike and Stacey a gold envelope, and inside there's a dinner invitation. All expenses paid dinner for two. Oh, okay. And Stacey, you cannot bring Pampy. Oh! <laughs> Enjoy. Love it for you. <laughs> when you can get to the point where you can be out for a couple of hours, then it's time to do the dinner date. Okay. So don't rush it. OK. But that's your Wait. challenge. I'm really looking forward to the dinner with Mike. It'll be really fun. It was really nice that we have an opportunity to excuse, if nothing else, to go have dinner together. So I'm going to leave you to it and enjoy. I really hope Stacey and Mike use all the training that I've given them to really put their dating lives back on track. Even if this isn't a love match, their dogs have got to get used to the fact they're going to be dating. Cheers, to the toy. Tutorial, yay! <laughs>well, Victoria, the training's gone well, and I found three dogs in Brazil. I've rescued them off the streets, brought them back, and Trippé's doing really well with them. They're all getting along famously. This is great, Mike. Trippé looks really relaxed around the new rescue dogs. Great job. Let's hope Stacy's done her work, too, because tonight is the date with Mike, and that means Pampy's going to be by herself for a couple of hours. I'm really nervous about leaving Pampy tonight because this dog is still a work in progress. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good Are you stressing out not being around Pampy right now? You know, I'm I'm very surprised, but I'm not. I, I really have enjoyed like dinner. I haven't worried about it. Well, dinner was a success, but I'm really interested to see how Pampy did. Hi. You did a very good job. I'm very impressed. That was two hours, Pampy. This is fantastic. Now there is nothing to stop Stacy from dating. My dog has like been a superstar. And she's been a lady and she's left the house exactly the way that I meant it to be. It's perfect. Now I'm looking forward to going out and meeting some women with dogs out here and introducing Trippé to them. Mike and Stacy might not have been the perfect match but I really hope that they can both continue with their dating lives without worrying about their dogs. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.